Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Happy first day of December. Can you believe that December is here? It is crazy. Anyways, it is December 1. Rabbit, rabbit, by the way. I don't know if anyone else says this. Okay, this is going to be like a 15 second tangent. So if you're not interested, skip this. But I grew up with my family saying rabbit, rabbit on the first of the month. And it was a game to say rabbit, rabbit before everyone else. For example, my mom texted me, texted the family at 5 5 a.m. this morning with this. Oh, there we go. She texted that at 5 a.m. 5 a.m., guys. And this has just been the way that I've grown up. Rabbit, rabbit. And my friends say it. I feel like I've existed in some sort of bubble because I'm realizing that I've texted this to new friends and they're like, what the heck? What does that even mean? It's something that we say on the first of the month. And I've looked it up and I think it has something to do with like wishing good luck or anyways. It's just a silly game, but we always do it. I always wake up December 1st to texts of rabbit, rabbit. I swear I've gotten like, I don't know, half a dozen texts. Either I text my friends first or they text me first. It just depends on the month. Today, <laughs> they all got me. Tell me, am I the only person that does this? Anyway, rabbit, rabbit, happy first of December. And I've just sat down to eat breakfast. It's honestly really good to be home because last week was Thanksgiving and I was out at my parents' place and then I was visiting a friend. And I honestly haven't really been home since last Thursday, last Thursday morning. So it's been almost a week. I got home yesterday yesterday afternoon. And needless to say, I have like no food in my house <laughs> because I just haven't been here. So I'm going to do a massive grocery haul that is on the agenda. I actually, I did run to the store last night because I was out grabbing food. I actually got Taco Bell <laughs> and I was right next to Walmart. So I ran in and got some strawberries and blueberries because I knew that I would need that for breakfast this morning. But I just didn't have the mental energy to go <laughs> and get all the things that I needed to get and and to actually make a plan of all the stuff I needed to get. So I figured I would do that today. I have a long grocery list and I'm gonna bring you along with me so you can see what I buy and what I typically eat. Before we go any further, trigger warning, we will probably be talking about eating disorders. So if that's something that triggers you, just go ahead and don't watch this video. This is an eating disorder recovery channel. Also, I am gonna show you food that I buy, food that I eat. This is in no way me telling you what you should or shouldn't eat. This is just me showing you where I am at in my recovery journey. I've been in recovery for a long time. I've had an eating disorder for a hot minute. So obviously where I am at in my journey is gonna be different probably from where you're at. Don't look at what I'm eating and what I'm buying as what you should eat and buy. And as always, please, if you need help, go talk to a therapist, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a doctor. Nothing can replace individual therapy or getting help from a dietitian, nutritionist, etc. I have a busy day. I don't know exactly when I'm going to make it to the grocery store, but I imagine it's going to be later this morning or early afternoon. So I'll just touch base with you then. One eternity later. Where are my sunglasses? Okay. Oh. <sighs> Alrighty folks, to grandmother's house we go. <laughs> Just kidding, we're going to Walmart, which is a lot less exciting, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're an adult. That's what they tell me anyways. <laughs> I have a ton of stuff to get here, so this should be fun. Talk to me, baby. All right, guys, we are back from the store. Also, can I just shout out to my little brother who probably will never see this video, but I was unloading and he obviously lives next to me. He's renting with some of his friends, the duplex next door. And he was driving on his way to class and he rolls down the window and he's like, hey, pretty. And I was like, nice shirt, bro. Anyways, I'm just so thankful for my little bro. We are back from the grocery store. I have laid everything out very nicely here. I spent in total $43.57. This is more than I normally spend at the store. I feel like on average, I spend between $20 to $30 
$5 when I go to the grocery store. But as you'll see, I got some things here that, you know, you buy like once every few months, like sugar or flour or something like that. So I'll walk through what my normal staples are and what I got here. I also bought a couple things that I don't normally buy because I am filming a video tomorrow of what I used to eat in treatment, like a meal plan day in treatment. No, let me rephrase that. Following my meal plan in treatment day. So I got some things for that video. And if you want to watch it, subscribe so you don't miss that video. But um, some things that I wouldn't normally get. But let's go through this. I'm kind of sad to like lay this or like destroy how I've laid this out nicely. You know what? I'm going to take a thumbnail picture. So pause for a commercial break. Actually, I'm realizing the lighting isn't very good for this. So I'm going to take the picture later. I got a couple of limes and tomatoes. We'll start with the fresh veggies and cilantro. I got an onion and I got three mangoes. If you have watched my channel for a while, you know that I love fresh mangoes. I swear I haven't bought these in forever. I was kind of shocked to see them at Walmart at, for a reasonable price. So I got three of them. I usually keep limes or lemon, lemons in my house for like salads or just to put on top of stuff. And usually always have an onion around. Tomatoes I'll buy if I know I'm gonna eat them. Sometimes I'll buy fresh food and I don't end up eating it and it just kind of sits in my fridge and goes bad. But I am planning on making a casserole tonight that will use some tomatoes. And also these are good for sandwiches. The cilantro is also for the casserole tonight. I don't normally keep this around unless I'm gonna like use it specifically for something. I've also found it kind of helpful to plan out my meals. I'm not super specific as far as following a meal plan, but thinking when I go to the grocery store, like, okay, what's a good meal for the next week or like a few good meals for the next week. And then of course, like the staples that I just keep in my house. But this coming week, I know that I'm gonna have burgers. I know that I'm going to have this casserole and I'm planning on making a chickpea curry. And so those foods I'll eat over the course of the week. So that's fresh food. These are some of the things that I don't buy on a regular basis, but kind of just like, you know, every few months or something, or when I run out. And this is some Crisco, so shortening, which I... I very rarely use, but I've been making, I made a couple batches of molasses cookies lately just because, you know, like Christmas time, it's just kind of that vibe. And also brown sugar, cause I'm out of brown sugar. Another one of those things that, you know, I buy like every, I don't know, six months or something. Okay, canned foods. Black beans, this is definitely a staple in my house. I'll eat a lot of black beans with rice or quinoa or like in tacos or burritos. Speaking of quinoa, I got some quinoa. This is for a casserole tonight. Got some tomato paste. This is for the curry that I'm gonna make at some point this week. Also coconut milk, also for the curry. This is chopped green chilies. Don't mind whoever's trying to text me. Is this important? Chopped green chilies. This is for the casserole tonight. Veggie burgers. I don't normally buy this. This is for the video that I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. <laughs> Spoiler alert, which you'll probably see in like, I don't know, a week and a half probably or a week. This is something that I wouldn't normally buy, but honestly thinking about it is probably something that's good to have around just because it's easy to make and it's good and it's not very time consuming. And I'm all about food that is not time consuming to prepare. Burger buns for that. My problem is that I will buy something like this, like burger buns. I just really struggle to eat. So there's eight of these. I think there's eight of these. I struggle to go through eight before they get bad. I'm, I'm gonna really make an effort to go through all of these and I'm definitely gonna have like one of my friends over to help eat them and maybe my, my brother over. Also got bagels. Um, I do keep bagels in my house, either bagels or some type of bread. I will eat a lot of bread with toast. A fried egg sandwich or I'll have like scrambled eggs with a bagel bagel, however you want to say it. I got some applesauce. I normally would buy like the container of applesauce because it's just like cheaper. But again, I have a like, I struggle to go through the whole container before it goes bad. So I buy these like little containers and I'll just open one at a time. This again is not something that I would normally buy, but this is for the video that I'm filming. Okay, another really common staple, almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. I go through these super fast. I put them in my coffee and my cereal and my oatmeal. I'll drink it plain. I love this stuff. Eggs, I go through a lot of eggs. Vegetable oil, this is just like the spray stuff that you spray on pans and whatnot. Again, something that I buy like, I don't know, every few months, probably less than that. I think I've bought it like once in my life. So maybe like every year, I honestly don't know. Lettuce, this will be for like sandwiches. And if I like, I can chop it up and put it in a salad or something. I have these baked, chips again something that i wouldn't buy normally i like never eat chips to be perfectly honest 
but this is for the challenge tomorrow. Also, I was planning on buying like one of the small bags and I could not find that at Walmart. Like I went all around trying to find a small bag of baked chips and I could not find it. So I ended up buying a big bag of baked chips and probably tomorrow what I'll do is just eat the serving size for this for my challenge, which you should subscribe so you can watch. $43, $44 if you're rounding up, but this food is gonna last me for a while. Another staple that's worth mentioning that I was trying to buy, but I couldn't find it was um, tofu. They didn't have the kind that I wanted, so I didn't get it, but I keep a lot of tofu in my house too, because that's something that's really easy to prepare and it's a good source of protein. What else? Also, I grabbed some blueberries and strawberries last night, just really quickly, so I could have that on my cereal this morning. That I think cost me about seven bucks so add seven dollars onto this amount so about 50 bucks for this grocery haul now again this is way more than i would normally buy but this some of this food is gonna last me for a long time and i know i'm actually having my best friend is coming to visit me this coming weekend so i had to kind of plan ahead and buy more food for meals that we'd eat together. That is that. I feel like this is kind of an anticlimactic video. Like, welcome, here's my groceries. Goodbye. <laughs> Let me move and close this. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope that this is something that's useful or interesting to you. Again, me showing you what I'm eating is in no way telling you what you should eat. And again, this is just like a representation of my groceries for a week, you know, and every week's different. Every day is different. And the point that I'm always trying to drive home, of course, is don't restrict and eat when you're hungry. I'm certainly not pretending to be Perfect. I really am not. There are some really hard days, which incidentally I'm planning on talking a little bit more about later, but I just wanted to show you this grocery haul. I hope it was helpful. I love you guys. I'm wishing you all the best in your journey. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up if you like it, because that really means a lot and it supports my channel. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.